That was a great college baseball game, um, really between two really good clubs. We've, in our three games in Charlottesville that we played North Carolina, you know, all three games were, were terrific ball games. Uh, they've got a very good club. Um, I'm just proud of our team. You know, we, we had a uh, discussion before batting practice today that, um, you know, they're, they're mature uh, men and they understand that coming to the ballpark today that um, we didn't have a chance to compete for the championship. And our opportunity for a, um, you know, our championship would be tonight and tomorrow night that, you know, we're going to come out and play good baseball and show that, that we can respond even though we don't have a chance to, uh, to win uh, the, the title here. Uh, so I'm just really happy um, and proud of our guys, the two guys sitting here, um, the way that they pitched and uh, grinded it out against a very good club. And, you know, we'll get that opportunity again tomorrow night against another outstanding team. Um, you know, hopefully we can do a little bit of the same and continue to play uh, good baseball. Obviously, the game one loss was, was difficult to Maryland, uh, and, and it put us in this situation. But um, I think these guys that wear our uniform shirt certainly showed um, you know, what they're made of in t tonight's ball game. And uh, they, I think they handled the situation really well. Yep. Nick, did you feature breaking ball a little bit more? You, you kind of buckled Lasseter with that strikeout in, in the ninth. And just take us through your whole, you know, four-out save there. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as the breaking ball, I was just trying to change hitters' eyes, uh, get some going over the plate before they, you know, time up my fastball. But other than that, I mean, I was trying to just attack hitters and get, get outs. Along those, along those lines, I mean, you know the history Landon's Last year's been pretty successful against you guys in the past. I mean, how tough of an at-bat was that? I think you worked you to 3-2. Yeah, I mean, I can't remember the last time against these guys it wasn't a game like this. But, again, Landon's a great hitter. I mean, he made me throw. Uh, as many, he was battling, made me kept throwing strikes. But, I mean, I just tried to groove one in there and <clears throat> make him make the mistake. How about the emotions? Uh, did, you, did you think that, that you might have hit a home run there in the – Top of the inning. Uh, I mean, as soon as he caught it, I kind of just deleted it. There was nothing I can do after that point. But I mean, I knew I hit it well, but I wasn't really too worried about it. Did you get a good swing? It looked like you sort of one armed it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I was a little bit out in front. I was just trying to put a ball in play. That's pretty much it. How important was it to come <laughs> in in the, in the eight to get, you know, kind of look like you got comfortable? For, for a pitch walk and then, but it seemed like you got comfortable. Yeah, I mean, that's what Coach told, told me to do was to have a four pitch walk right when I come in. But uh, I mean, I, I knew I had to buckle down and make some pitches after that, so that was about it. Wait, were you, uh, were you available yesterday, fully healthy? What, what's your kind of situation right now? Yeah, yeah, I was ready to go. Yes, sir. Coach, you, you said I'll, I'll address this, okay? Um, you know, when I was speaking yesterday in the in the press conference, um, Whit Mayberry might have felt like he was available, but he was not. Um, we've got a uh, um, some kind of virus running through our team, quite frankly, and um, uh, you know we've got player that is uh, hasn't even come to the ballpark since we've been here in town. So, um, you know. It is what it is. Everybody deals with it at different times. And, and um, you know, Witt gutted it out tonight. And I can tell you he's still not feeling good. But um, it shows what he's made of. So. Brian, you had lost three or four going into this, and all three were by one run. To win this one, back to one run, it's kind of been your, your deal all year to get back to that formula, I'm sure. Yeah, we're all right with it. You know, it's just, I mean, certainly we'd like to beat people by four or five runs. But... You know, there, there's something to be said for that, that our, our guys, you know, understand what it takes in a really tight ball game, the execution it takes on the mound defensively. Um, so there's, there's, there's not a lot of panic. You know, we've lost a few of those one-run games as of late because when you play so many of them, you know, odds are that a couple of them are going to go against you. But, um, you, know, uh, you know, when you have pitching like we have with these guys at the end of the ball game, uh, you're going to win your fair share of them. People more knowledgeable than I am indicate that you were probably going to get a national seed regardless of what happened here. Does this make you any more comfortable with that? Or? Um, I, I, I haven't thought about it, Doug, but probably. Um, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a concern of mine coming down here at all. Um, 
you know, I, I believe what, you know, our resume of what we've done over the entire season speaks for itself, you know, and, um, you know, it, it is certainly nice to get a win. You know, we're going to do everything we can in our power to uh, win again tomorrow night. I'm sure Florida State is too. But, you know, this team has um, earned a great position because of what we've done all year long. And uh, they're not concerned about it. They don't even think about it. We don't even talk about it. Um, they're just consumed with competing and pl trying to play good baseball. What, what happened on the, the game tying home run? What did you throw? What, is, what was that? I uh, you know, pitch I left up in the zone. Um, I think it was a one one pitch, and uh, obviously wish I could take it back. I'm really uh, proud of the way my teammates picked me up in the next half inning, and uh, couldn't be more grateful for that. Nick and Wade, just talk about that, that meeting you guys had beforehand. How you know it's kind of a weird deal where you, you play one game and already you're, you're eliminated from going to the championship. What was that like? How you kind of, kind of have to switch mentalities a little bit? I mean, uh, like Coach said before uh, before his game, he told us, you know, and uh, it's kind of been a theme the whole year. Is we take what's on our plate right in front of us, uh, you know, any given day. Um, you know, there's new challenges that arise, and today the challenge was uh, to treat this game like our championship game, and I think we did a good job doing that. Brian, Nick, af Nick, after Wake last week, how important was it to get back up on the mound and return to your former form? Um, I mean. Obviously, it's good to go back out there and get back on the horse, but that honestly wasn't a part of my thought process at all. Hey, Brian. Yes. Six out of nine times, they got a leadoff runner on. And that's right. That's very unlike Virginia. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you knew six out of nine would, would lead off, would you thought you would have come out of this with a win tonight? No, I, I really. It was um, Brandon Waddell was um, – uh, uh, I wouldn't say he's the sharpest that he's been all year, that outing, but he really buckled down and made big pitches, got some big strikeouts with that slider and on those lefties and uh, righties and bouncing it on him. You know, I, I felt after five innings he had been threatened in every inning, um, whether it be, you know, he had two walks, he had a hit batter, uh, gave up six, you know, uh, hits. You know, North Carolina did a really good job with him, but you know, the, the kid all year long made the big pitches when he's needed needed to. So um, you wouldn't think that the amount of runners that they in a, had in scoring position that were looking at a 3-2 ball game. Uh, but it seemed like it was that kind of game. I, you know, I think we left probably 10 or 11 runners on too. And that's a credit to uh, Moss and the guys that they threw in relief. Brian, you said yesterday you were concerned a little bit with the middle innings in your bullpen, and today you gave it a yeah. Nine runs in the middle inning. Is that a concern going forward? Or? No, it's not. It, it, it really isn't. Um, you know, those guys have done the job. You know, all all year long, and and you know, it's it's two ball games. Uh, I mean, you know, other than the home run, you know, I think Witt pitched a tremendous uh, baseball for us tonight, and you know, we didn't do it in the middle innings yesterday. Uh, hopefully, we will tomorrow. But I'm not concerned about it all. We've got a lot of confidence in those guys, and those guys are a huge reason why we're in the position that we are. Do you like this format, this pool play format where this kind of thing can happen where you can play one game and be eliminated? I can't tell you, Doug, that I like it um, be, for that fact. Um, do I like that everybody that cheers on our team and cheers on North Carolina to know that we, you know, back on Monday that we're playing North Carolina on Friday night at 7 o'clock and the same thing tomorrow night at Florida State. Um, I think for the fans, it's a great benefit. Um, as a competitor, you know, um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough because you'd like for your tournament to be ended on the field, whether you win or lose. Um, I don't think there's a perfect formula, uh, but it's what we have, and it seems like it's worked pretty good historically. You know, part of what I talked to the team about was in 2010, 2012, and 2013 um, at this tournament, there's been a game that we've played in each of those tournaments that fortunately we've won that really didn't determine whether or not we were going to get a chance to go to the title game or not. Um, you know, so we've been used to it. Um, you know, I feel for a club like Clemson that wins the first two ball games and they happen to lose one and they're going home. But, you know, this is the format that, 
you know we have determined is the best for everybody in this league. Yep. Uh, Coach, what about Benton Moss made him so successful against you guys tonight? What were you able to do to, to battle back against him? Well, Benton Moss has pitched really well against us two times this year. He he gave us fits up in Charlottesville too, and. Um, you know, fortunately, we were able to scratch a few runs against him. Uh, Benton's got a good arm. You know, he's got a good breaking ball that he went to more tonight than he did when we pr previously faced him. Um, you know, he does a good job of pitching both sides of the plate. Um, you know, I think that young man has a very, very bright future. And, um, you know, I like North Carolina's chances with that guy on the mound next weekend um, of hopefully advancing on.